Hanging by a thread Hung upon all the words you said Breaking free from this conformity That you force on me Everything I do is one big show It's about damn time that I take control Put me under a microscope and watch me take control Oh Um, welcome to my very first collab video. It's with my amazing friend Alex Faction. So please go check him out. I will leave all of his social media platform links down below. He's an amazing guy, super talented, and really fun to watch. We got super inspired by the kind of trend that Fifty Shades of Grey has going around it. It right now is like such a controversy. You know, you have your people that really want to see it and know all about it and love the books. Any of you people that hate it and don't like what it stands for, don't like what goes on in it. I feel completely neutral on the subject. I have no feelings whatsoever towards it. So please don't take this tutorial super literal. It's just something fun. It was a fun theme to do and I tried to take it more of the BDSM route and do some leather harness because harnesses are also super trendy right now and I want one but I don't have one so why not just fucking paint it on my body, you know? My full face, along with the eyes and lips, will be coming very soon as another tutorial, as a part two, so stay tuned for that as well. I was super reluctant to do this video because I didn't really know how people would react to it. And so, the more I thought about it though, the more I wanted to do it because this is just part of the human body. And I am a woman and I do have boobs, but that's okay and it's okay to paint on them and boobs are fucking awesome. Why not paint on them and do a badass sexy tutorial doing a fucking harness on them? So go out, paint something on your boobs and fucking embrace that shit. Like who needs a boob job? Just wake up and contour your boobs every day and you're set, you're good to go. First we're gonna start off with a little bit of a chest contour. I'm just gonna show you a little bit how to accentuate your chest area where to kind of give some highlight and shadow as well. You know, we are doing a body painted corset, and so a corset would naturally really push your boobs up, and so we want to simulate that with makeup. We're going to go in with a Boomy Brilliant Blush and Contour Brush. Right now I'm going to go in with Copper Brown from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Shades. I just dab a little bit on my Boomy Brush, and I'm going to just start adding a little bit of shadow right here. What this would do is essentially your chest, if you have your boobs pushed up, there would be a shadow on top of where the curve starts. So if you push yourself up a little, you see the shadow would be right there. You want to just follow the natural shape that would be there and you're keeping most of the product along this line and then blending it out towards the center. Right now I'm just continually adding more of the copper brown and blending back out. So we are going to go in with this Sigma Large Concealer F65 brush. It's nice because I can really get right in the edge that I need to and this Bobbi Brown foundation in alabaster. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand and then grab with my brush from there. What I'm doing is just really cleaning up if I had any of the accidental contour shade kind of blend on top of this spot. You still want to keep that crease dark, but just lighten up this little, this little V. It's like a curved V. This will work perfectly with the course that we are now going to do. 
Now, using Feathered from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics pencil, I'm just going to kind of start drawing out where I want the corset to go. What's really great to do if you don't exactly know how to start drawing your corset is to look up reference pictures. That's what I actually did earlier. You know, I, I didn't quite know what style of corset I wanted. There's, I know I've seen tons and different ones. So I'll look online, you know, I looked up corset and there's so many different kinds. So look it up and it's totally awesome and easy to have a reference picture to just kind of glance at when you are drawing your outline to have something to kind of just give you a guideline. I'm wanting to do the corset in kind of a leather material, so we're going to start by painting it completely black. I'm going back in with that F65 Sigma brush and some Wolf black paint. This is actually 010. These are water activated, I've used them before if you've watched my videos, and they're amazing. So you just put some water on them, they're good to go. Okay, now that you have two black marks on your arms, since we are doing leather, we're going to want it to look a little bit shiny. This area right here would be the lightest, and then as it curved down, it would turn darker. So to add a little bit of highlight to it, we're going to start taking the cream color concentrate from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics in Vice. I'm using a Sigma flat kabuki brush and just putting it on top and blending it out. going to create a little bit of a ridge, kind of like a little hem right on the edge. So we're going to take that Vice Cream Concentrate as well. I'm using a MAC 219 brush. Now that we've done a little bit of a highlight with the white, we're going to go in back in with the black paint again. Going in with the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics brush, just a flat type brush, and the Vice cream paint again, we're going to lighten up this area right here. A, a general rule, you know this isn't always true, but a general rule to kind of keep in mind is there's always a shadow to every highlight. So for instance, I just did a shadow there, so now there's a highlight right here. We're also going to draw a little bit of a ring here and four straps connecting it. Ooh. I'm going to start using the Mark Reed Signature 4 brush from Mayron Makeup. And when you have a circle like this, like a ring, you need to keep in mind how the leather would move around the ring.
We're going to go in with Wolf's Gray Paint. This is 006. You want it to generally go in about the same spot that it goes into the next strap. We want to keep the same general rule that I did with these straps. So I'm going to go in with that same OCC Vice Concentrate and start lightening them up a little bit. We as well want to go right under that ridge where that fabric would be doubled over. Then you would also want to put a little bit of highlight on top of that fabric as well because it would be curved since it is going over a ring. Now going in with a large angle brush, this is from Boomy Brushes, the large angular, what do you know, and Triple Fudge from Too Faced, it's from the chocolate bar, it's a matte dark brown, I use it all the time. We're going to start doing a little bit of shading to make some of this pop. So the ring would cast a shadow onto my skin, so we're going to gently go underneath it to cast a little bit of a shadow. If you had a light coming down, it would cast a shadow right under where those curves would be. Now tapping the littlest bit of Corrupt from Makeup Geek, a very matte black shadow. I'm just going to go right under the ring and blend it. I'm going to focus more towards these corners because since it's the strap plus the ring, it would cast the most shadow. I then go in with the Triple Fudge Matte Brown again, and I'm going to start darkening these corners. Now taking this Paradise Makeup AQ 813 brush, just a small detail brush, with some white wolf paint. I'm going to do a little bit of detail work on the ring, just to give it a little bit of highlight because metal would be very reflective. I'm going to now use that same brush with a little bit of the gray and white paint that I've used previously mixed together to put a few little buttons for some more details. We're now going to highlight these buttons with a little bit of white paint. Since we have the white paint and this small detail brush out, I'm just going to start adding a few details here and there to bring out a little bit more of a highlight. Alright guys, and we're done. That was my quick kind of how to give yourself a corset tutorial and how to contour your boobs a little bit. Thank you so much for watching my channel and checking me out. I definitely had fun with it, so I hope you did too. Don't tell me that I need saving. Finally awake and living.